Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, we're going to talk about how to determine what type of rack you need. So if you should go with squat stands, with a half rack, with a full rack, or yeah, that's the options we're going to talk about today. So forgive me, the dryer is going. It's a little bit noisy. I'm going to try to speak a little bit louder than I normally do. Uh, I am looking into getting <clears throat> like an audio clip or a camera or something, so I'm not just screaming at the camera or the phone. So let's first uh, talk about why you have to have a squat rack. So if you're going to build a home gym, you have to have something that you can squat, bench press, um, you know, you can kind of deadlift out of them, I guess, um, and overhead press out. Those are the four major movements. Those are the four compound movements that you're going to need to build muscle, to be healthy, to be less fat, to, you know, essentially do everything. If you've, um, you know, if you're looking into a home gym and you don't really understand the basics of exercising, just know that you have to, not that you have to, but I mean, it's the best way to go about doing anything, you know, is to, uh, in, in terms of fitness, is to build more muscle, lose fat, improve your overall fitness, and you're going, the, the best way to do those things is to, um, is to squat bench deadlift overhead press uh, get stronger at those movements and that in turn is going to net you more muscle mass which will allow you to eat more and gain less fat um, it'll make your you know better bone density uh, you'll be stronger you'll just be healthier overall the better you get at those movements so that's kind of generally uh, accepted as you know the best movements for uh, exercise in general <clears throat> They're all based around a barbell, right? So that being said, you know, I could go on and on and on, but that's another topic for another day, but just to, you know, just to say. So <clears throat> you need a squat rack. That's why we're here, right? You need a squat rack. What squat rack do you need? So first off, it comes down to your budget, you know? Not a lot of people have uh, $10,000 to go out and buy the road cave system with, uh, you know, all, literally all the bells and whistles on. Um, <clears throat> So, there's still some great options, you know. Um, <clears throat> now, the most budget um, the most budget option is going to be your squat stand. Now, your squat stand is best for someone that doesn't want to spend a lot of money, doesn't have a lot of space, and, you know, doesn't want a lot of exercise uh, variety because you're not going to be able to do a ton out of them. You can squat out of them, you can bench out of them, but you have to use a spotter because there's no safety arms um, that you can put on a squat stand. I mean... Uh, I'm talking about like cheaper ones that aren't connected. If they are connected at the base, that's, if you're gonna get a squat stand, you should get one that is connected at the base because then you can attach some things to it. You know, you can use, um, you can use uh, safety arms. So that's gonna be your best bet in terms of a squat stand. It's just something that is uh, connected at the base. <clears throat> that's gonna allow you to squat, bench, you know. Of course you can deadlift literally on the floor. So I mean, you can deadlift anywhere, but um, that's going to allow you to squat bench out of it, adjust the height, um, adjust the J-cups. <coughs> J-cups are just the thing that holds the bar on the top. Um, yeah, so any squat stand, if you're looking at, at, uh, at that, I would, you know, I would, uh, the better ones are going to be connected to the base, but again, it comes down to your budget and your space. You can get a super cheap set of, you know, two singular squat stands that you can literally put and move anywhere. Um, so for someone that's, you know, building a gym in a weird spot where you just don't have a lot of space in your garage or your basement, then that's a fine option. So <clears throat> half rack, which is what I have here, um, I would consider that the next step up. You know, if, if uh, you want a little bit more option, maybe you're still restricted a bit by your budget or your floor space um, or your ceiling height, <clears throat> chicken. Um, so that's going to give you some more options. That's going to give you options for play storage. It's going to give you options for um, you know, some add-ons, some of the fun stuff, you know, your, your dip bars or, um, what else do I got for? Your dip bars or anything else that, you know, you can get, um, on a full rack, you can typically fit on a half rack as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to give you more, it's going to give you more options. It's going to allow you to, depending on the, the type of half rack you get, mine's kind of a poor example, I guess, of, of a, gen, of a half rack in general, but, um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's going to allow you to squat uh, within, you know, within the cage. It's, so you're going to have uh, your built-in safeties. Um, 
you know you can still use it on the outside so if you got one that's a little bit bigger than mine for example you can you can squat bench on the inside you can squat bench on the outside technically you could have two people using it at one time um, but yeah it's just a little bit bigger a little bit more expensive a little bit more options um, personally I prefer a half rack I've made an entire video on this um, but yeah, I've, I've made a, a, a whole video on this before. Basically, I like the half rack because I don't like the feeling of being confined in a cage. I feel like if I'm going to slip or fall or something, I'd rather just simply be able to dump the weight without having to worry about it, you know, as I'm walking out, clanging back and forth into something. Um, yeah, that's basically my reason. So, uh, another thing to consider, uh, a squat stand. Uh, if it's connected to the base, you can use a pull-up bar with it. The same, obviously, you can use a pull-up bar with any sort of half rack. Um, so that's something to consider as well. <clears throat> if that's something you want to use, I mean, even if um, you have a short space, I like uh, I've got a pull-up bar like kind of cross member in the back, and I can hook up a band to it or hook up other things to it, and I can do press downs and curls and whatever I want. So uh, it, it is nice to have, even if you can't use it for pull-ups. So the full rack, the full rack is going to give you the most options. Um, it's the most expensive, of course, it's the biggest piece, it's the most steel. Uh, so your full rack is going to give you the most options, it's going to take up the most space, and it's going to be the most expensive. So the full rack is more for someone that, uh, you know, you're really into powerlifting, bodybuilding, CrossFit, whatever. Um, you know, not to say that you wouldn't be with the other options, but uh, you're willing to pay to have more variation in your exercise selection and you're willing to pay for um, you know being able to squat in the cage and everything like that so I mean uh, with a full rack there's essentially no limitations to what you can do with it depending on the size um, you know uh, as long as you have uh, you know decent ceiling height you're gonna be able to do pull-ups no problem you can get a multitude of attachments um, so yeah, so it's basically, you know, you can go on and on. You can get anything and everything under the sun um, for uh, a full rack if that is your, if that is what you choose to get. Now, if I was going to do a dream build, yeah, that's what, you know, I'd probably get the cave and I'd have the big wide open space for it and it would be awesome. But uh, obviously, you know, there's things we got to consider. So <clears throat> yeah, that that's basically, you know, that's basically the difference. I mean... It, it, there's gonna be more things you can attach it's gonna be um, you know you're gonna have a little bit more space in it as well so if you're using things like bands and chains uh, they're easier to hook on without smashing into things I mean I can use chains on this setup here if I'm squatting for example but they always uh, dig into the band pegs I can simply remove them but I'm just saying in general like you're gonna have more space you know you can have different setups for different exercises and you might not have to move them around a lot so it might be a little bit more efficient um, and yeah, so I mean, it, it comes down to your preference, but it also comes down to your budget and your, your footprint, um, what you have to work with and what you're willing to spend. That's the biggest thing. So there, there's definitely uh, three tiers, kind of four tiers, almost like there's a, I would almost put the, you know, like the bolt together squat stand in a separate category than, um, you know, literally just two adjustable stands that you would use to squat and bench out of. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. So. I think if you're going ultra cheap, get a squat stand with a, with the uh, with the connected base, and if you have some more money to spend, um, you can look at uh, half rack or full rack options. Some good companies, of course. Um, you know everybody knows Rogue, but uh, if you're here in Canada, Bells of Steel is good. Um, Amstaff is actually like unbelievably cheap. I their build quality is a little shoddy, um, so it's not like 11 gauge steel, and you know. Um, getting the right hole spacing in that, but I mean, you can get a full uh, four post rack for like 400 bucks, which is pretty unbelievable. If you guys haven't heard of Amstaff and you're in Canada, make sure you look them up. But uh, but yeah, uh, tons of options. I'll list them down below if you guys are interested. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys use down below in the comment section. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out.